Welcome back. In the previous section, we worked with a standard list item. In this section, we will be seeing object list item. So, what is the difference between object list item and standard list item? So, let me first roll back the data what we have. So, title and um, just remove this two things which we added extra in the last section and also change this uh, structure. So, okay, so it's done. So, if I save it and refresh the app, then we will see what we saw in the previous section. We saw basically a list where all the data was coming. And um, what we will be doing in this section is we will try to see what are the different types of items which we can have and why this is important. The main reason is that in using list you are basically representing some information to user and user can navigate to detail page if they click on a particular item on the list now what we have is only title we can have a description but the standard list item you can also do a control space and see all the available properties of standard list item which you can use and um, there are icon size, blog, busy, counter, info, info state. So all this can be used. But when we are going for object list item, you will find that we can represent more information in our list element in the particular component where we represent a summary. So list most of the time will be used to give you a summary of the information which you will receive if you go inside that particular information. So it can be a buyer's ID and status of the buyer. And if you go inside, then you basically see more information about the buyer, past history, past orders, or it can be orders list where you see all the particular orders and a amount, what is the order amount, what is the description, which product this order belong to or collection of product this order belong to and if you go inside then you can see details about the order so that is how the list will be utilized so let's go in the next phase where i'm going to replace this with my object list so i'm going to comment it out toggle block comment and um, you can remove it or you can put it as a comment it's your wish but most likely i want it to go in a comment because if I want the code later on, then I can also use it. Okay, so let me use object and um, list item. And if I go to the next line with shift enter and press control space, then you can also see properties which is possible within object list item. And um, there are a long list of property which you can actually use. Okay, so what is the first thing which we will use it? Now, how the order actually looks is very different from how a list looks so if i come into the samples here you can see that the object the height of each individual items are large you have a title here so if i inspect this and um, if i go to the code you can see that you have a title you have a type and you have some event listener and the number and number unit so if we look into this list item then we see that there is a title so notebook basic 15 is title then we have uh, number and number unit and uh, this available so the number we have written here the price for this particular notebook 15 which is 956 euro which is very unreasonable but that is not the concern we are mostly focused on technical part so here this is number and here the number status or we have basically two type of status or only two status so if you see also here in the api reference you can see that in the aggregation itself there is first status and there is second status so two status only one zero to one aggregation is possible zero to one so this is of type object status so here we have available as first status and in the left hand side there are some attributes so these are the attribute aggregation so you can see that 4.2 kg 30 into 18 into 3 centimeter so these are all information which has been 
input in the aggregation of attributes so if you can come back to the list item then attributes by default this is the default aggregation which can go inside a object list item and uh, you can have 0 to n n number of attributes you can have and this information about the dimension of the notebook basic 15 is represented in attribute so you can see now that there are more information which you can put in list now here there's some color changes also which you can do so if there are certain orders or certain buyers whose status is not acceptable or it can be shown in a red color so from a user experience point of view the user can see that okay there's some problem with those items and they can go inside and see more information about those problems so the css can be changed for this status first status and um, if you go inside the first status or second status which is of type SAPM dot object status then you can see that there will be property of status type so if i go into the properties here then uh, you can see that there is a state and um, there are a couple of states we have sap ui core value state dot none so this is um, the default state which will make the particular status as color gray so if i come to console and um, try to see the value of sap ui dot core dot value state then um, by adding a dot i can see all the status there are error and if i try to see what is the string value for this it is error and um, information none and there are a lot of statuses which is there so if i use this particular status of information then it will be blue error it will be red and uh, success it will be green so you can check that there is success and uh, warning is orange so based on whatever css you want here you can put it here and a lot of the time we use formatter for that so in this particular section we will be also seeing how to use formatter in your view if you want to change certain colors by changing the value state of a particular list item okay because it can happen that there is a limit so there is a limit that all the data points or all the orders whose value are more than 2000 make it as a red mark so there is a limitation or limit and based on that limit all the list items should change and that 2000 value can change in the future because that will be a limit and user can make it 3000 or maybe make it 1500 so that's the main reason why the data should be dynamic in the ui this is one of the very common problem which we most of the time do is in the ui we should not be hard coding information which are data unless it is not going to change ever we should avoid hard coding any kind of data value in our ui because at the later point of time that information can be changed and we might have to then later point of time write fuzzy codes just to fulfill the requirement which is what is not expected so what we will try to do is once we have done a implementation of basic list example we'll try to get it from a json variable the limit and then based on the limit if it's above that limit then it will be red and if it is below that limit then it will be green 